guys how you doing i just wanted to come talk to y'all for a minute while i wait for my hair to uh air dry <sighs> how are you doing you guys how's your family how's the weather where you are the weather here is up and down up and down one day it's 50 the next day it's 80 something and that's how people get sick you know but yeah i just want to talk to y'all for a second um you know, y'all kind of had me scared because y'all was uh, talking about the EMP happening around the world. And, you know, that, that I'm going to be honest with you, it kind of has me scared, <clears throat> has me nervous because I don't know what's going to happen to everyone when it happens. And, um, and if it happens, are you ready? If the EMP happens, are you ready? Am I ready? I'm not ready, you guys. I don't know. I don't know what I would do, you know, especially if it lasts for days or if it lasts for months, you know. You know, that, that really has me nervous. Speaking of, let me tell y'all, the other day, uh, Chunky, she told me, she was like, Mommy, I have to party. I said, okay. So, since it was nighttime, I was like, let me go with her. Because if it's in the daytime, she can go by herself. I let me go with her. And I turned the lights on. And, you know, she she said, I'm the pot to use it, you guys. And the lights went out. Yeah. I'm not afraid of the dark. But when the lights go out and... You don't know why they went out. It kind of scared me. But I was like, I have to be brave. I can't, you know, show emotion because my daughter's right here. And when I tell you, it turned pitch black. It was dark. And I was like, oh my goodness, what is going on? And Chunky, she was like, she was like, mommy, it's dark in here. I was like, yes, it, it is dark in here. Yeah. Y'all already know that I can't walk straight because of my health issues. So I'm, y'all know I be dizzy and whatnot. Yeah. Why the lights had to go out, you know, knowing that I can't walk straight. So I'm holding her hand. I was like, just hold mommy's hand. And I'm walking with my hand like this so I won't run into no walls or anything. Yeah, it was so dark. And then when we finally, you know, made it to the front of the house, I noticed that the lights outside was out too. So I'm like, what is going on? And in my mind, I started thinking about that EMP that y'all warned me about. I was like, man, I hope that's not what's going on. Excuse me. You just want to tell everybody hi? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and tell them hi. Hi. What are what, you doing? What, she said, what y'all doing? I'm going to call it a bed. It's a dad. So, were you scared when the lights went out? You was? But well, mommy protected you, right? So, I looked. Well, I was trying to look outside, and it was dark outside, too. So, I'm like, okay, if, if my lights are out, and the lights outside are out, and the neighbors porch lights all yeah all the lights was out. there was no light no lights in the house no no light outside there was no lights at all and i could hear my neighbors outside talking i heard somebody say man what's going on with the lights what what the lights said what's going on with the light y'all i started freaking out because i was remember when y'all said that when it the emp do happen that people are going to start purging and uh, breaking up people's houses and, you know, taking their stuff and killing them. Y'all, when I say y'all, I was so scared. Oh, you showing them your teeth? Uh-huh. Y'all, I was so scared. And then the lights came back on. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, they, they was only out for about five or ten minutes, but baby, I was so scared. I was, ooh. I hurry up and grab some flashlights and stuff. I was like, just in case they went back out, I would have a flashlight. And look, let me tell y'all. 
Y'all make sure y'all have flashlights, working flashlights with batteries in them. You know, just in case that do happen, I want all of us to be safe. You know, make sure y'all have food that don't need to be cooked or anything in the house. Just in case that happens and it goes on for days. Make sure you have water. I want y'all to be able to survive. <sighs> what else I want to talk to y'all about? Oh, yeah, I got, this is very embarrassing, and uh, I'm trying not to get emotional when I tell y'all this. So, I was cooking dinner, and Chunky, she was sleepy, and when she gets sleepy, she gets emotional. So, I was in the kitchen cooking dinner, and she was like, Mommy, Mommy, come come lay down with me. And I was like, hold on, Chunky, Mommy's cooking. She said, Mommy, come lay down with me. So, I knew that the food was almost done. So I was like, let me just go in here with her, come for her, and then come back and finish. So I went, got in the bed with her. My husband, he was asleep. I got in the bed with her, and I was, you know, comforting her. And then the, the, I could start to smell the food. So I was like, I need to go in there and turn the food off. So I told Chunky, I said, let me, let mommy get up and go turn the food off. But y'all, she was so sleepy. And she did not, you know, want to let go of me. I was like, Chunky, please let mommy go turn the food off. <clears throat> you look scared me. And I didn't want to wake my husband up. And this is the way we was laying. It was my husband, it was me, and Chunky was laying on top of me. I didn't want to disturb his rest or whatever. So I was like, Chunky, please let me go turn the food off. You know, cause I could smell that it was going to start burning. It, it wasn't burning, but you, you know, you can smell when your food is ready. I was like, Chunky, please let me go turn the food off and you know she was like no no and she was holding on to me so I was like thinking in my head okay I just need to get up and carry her and go and turn the oven and stove and turn everything off the food off <sighs> y'all I was like let me get up without disturbing my husband because when he sleep I want him to sleep and I don't like to disturb his sleep so I was like let me get up without disturbing him so I reached my leg over him so I could stand up and, you know, with me being dizzy, y'all know, with my vertigo, it caused me to be dizzy and everything. Y'all, as soon as I stood up, the room started spinning and I fell. Chunky and I both fell because she was holding on tight to me because she refused to let go of me. And we both fell, you guys. And she was crying, I was crying. And we weren't crying because we were hurt, but we were crying because it was scary. It scared us, you know, for us to, you know, be up and all of a sudden we, when we fell. And I don't know. I was crying because I was, you know, it was scary. I was like, I just fell with my daughter. And it, it that made me so emotional because I fell with my daughter. If I would have fell by myself, I would have been okay with it. But the fact that I was holding my daughter when I fell, it just, that's what made me start crying. And she was crying because it scared her and everything. And, you know, I checked her, made sure she didn't have any scratches or bruises or, I just made sure she was okay. And I was like, are you okay, Chunky? She was like, yes. She was like, yes, I'm okay. And she asked me, was I okay? And I was like, yeah. And my husband, you know, he was scared because he didn't know what happened. He knew we had fell or whatever, cause he saw us. But he saw us like Mama, on the floor. Dad, Dad. It didn't yeah, he saw us on the floor crying, and you know, so he he was emotional. I was emotional. Trunk was emotional, but everything was okay. We were okay. But that was just a scary moment. Just you know, the fact that we. Yeah, I will not be trying that again. I cannot pick her up because she is heavy and I don't have good balance and yeah, it was a very scary moment. So you guys, did the lights go out, you know, where you're at? Oh, cute. Did, did the lights go out? And if they did, did it scare you? Were you nervous? Oh, yeah, don't fall. Be careful. Because that was very scary. And I hope it does not do that again, especially. Baby, this is too 
with us. You know, if it do, it don't do it here, you know. But yeah, let me know if y'all lights went out. And what are your thoughts about the EMP? My back, my back. What are your, your thoughts about that? Do you believe that it's going to happen? Or do you believe that that is what happened? Like, I just want to know your thoughts about it. Oh, wow. You guys, I thank you for watching. And I hope you're having a great week. Bye-bye. <clears throat> you going to come tell bye-bye? Yeah. Tell him bye-bye. Bye. bye. <laughs> oh, you blew my kiss. Mm -hmm. She always giving y'all my sugar. Bye, you guys. What'd you say you want to do? Yeah, I'll have him and daddy will help me push it out. You want to help your daddy push it out? Yeah. But he don't need help pushing it out. I want to help him push it out. He he's a, a grown man. He can push it out by himself. No, we don't help him push it out. Okay, I'll yeah. let you help him. Okay. Okay. You gonna help him? Yeah. I don't think he needs help. He can push it out by himself. Okay. No, I don't help her. I don't help her. Okay, I'll let you help him. Okay. Okay. Candy at the bag. You see your candy? Huh? You see your candy? You see your candy in there? This is Daddy's? Mm-hmm. Hmm. This is Daddy's? Mm-hmm. That's the thing to close it. What else is in the bag? Is that everything? What are you looking for? What you looking for? Good job. You ready to clean up now? No. Okay. What you looking for? Mm -hmm. Cute. This is a doormat. You looking for your candy? Huh? Are you looking for your candy? Hmm? I'm like there. I got my clothes in there. Yeah. You're looking for your candy? Mm-hmm. Mm. I got my turn mine. Mm. Well, we got a, a cupcake. A cupcake. It's a strawberry cupcake. Mm-hmm. It's cold. Yeah. You like strawberry cupcake? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh. You trying to eat your strawberry cupcake? <laughs> yeah.
Mommy, I'm a I'm a You gotta eat it. Yeah.